Hi everyone. Welcome to my Stats 1 OCR June 2010 paper. We're going to have a look at question 6 on the paper. So the question is short and worth 6 marks. There's 10 numbers in a list. The first 9 numbers have a mean of 6 and a variance of 2. So you know I like the diagrams, so I'm going to draw out 10 cards representing spaces for 10 numbers. Our job is to think, well, if we know about this set of data, these nine numbers, their mean is six and their variance is two, what is going to be the total uh, mean and variance if we add on the number three here? So that's our job. Now, because we're going to be using formulas, I'm going to just make one thing clear at the start that I'm going to call this group of numbers our X's where we go from 1 to 9 and I'm going to call the whole group of numbers Y where we're going from uh, 1 to 10 numbers okay so you know what I'm talking about when I do the formulas so that means that our mean of X is going to be sigma x over n and it gives us 6. Now sigma x we're not sure about, we don't know what those mystery numbers add up to but we know there's 9 of them and we know that that answer is 6. So we can derive from that that the sum of those 9 numbers is 9 times 6, 54. Now that means that we can add on our extra number here, add on our 3, and get the sum of all our total 10 numbers to be 57. And then if we want the mean of y, y bar, we do the sum of y over n. Sum of y is 57. n is now 10, because we've got 10 numbers in total. So our mean is 5.7. The next bit, finding a variance, is a little bit more tricky. If we think about the particular formula for variance, which says that we find the sum of all the x squareds over n, take away the sum of x over n, all squared. Now remember, the sum of x over n is just x bar. So we're going to be summing in that value in a sec. So the variance of x was the sum of x, all the x's squared, over n, which was 9 numbers, take away 6 squared, because remember we found, well, we're told that the mean is 6, so that's 36. We know that this all equals 2, because we're told in the question. So we rearrange this equation. We add the 36 and times by 9 to get that the sum of x squared is going to be 342. You do that on your calculator, just simplifying this equation. Okay. Now, we don't want the sum of x squared. We want the sum of y squared to be able to use our formula. Now, if we think about the new number we've added on, it's the number 3. So we want to add on 3 squared, which is 9, to get 351. Now we think about our variance for y formula. And our variance for y is the exact same, but change the letters. Sum of y squared over n. Take away sum of y over n all squared. Remember this thing is the mean of y, y bar. So we get 351 divided by our 10 numbers. n is 10 in this case for y take away 5.7 which is y bar squared and if you put that in your calculator you're going to get to three significant figures 2.61 and that's your final answer i hope this has been helpful remember achieve maths work hard you can do it good luck in your maths work